and it started off really gross and rainy and cold and it just got colder but less rainy so that was good um, and it was great I uh, didn't didn't really feel the, the hills that much so it was a really good route and um, it was so much fun there's a lot of people on the sides of the road and then all the water stations were phenomenal so uh, running with people around me really helps <laughs> those lonely days on the road for training can really pay off when you've got people around you to do the marathon well there's a couple of marathons this weekend but none of them honestly none of them really appealed to me other than the army marathon uh, and it was logistically it was a challenge but you know, push came to shove, I wanted to be here. I mean, Central Texas is, you know, it's, I actually enjoyed the course, I thought it was beautiful. Despite being Central Texas, and maybe there's a stereotype there, but it was gorgeous. I mean, we had some turns and got to run across that belt and dam, and it was beautiful. I just loved it. It is totally worth the travel time. <laughs> Because I came last year and I was injured and I didn't finish. I give up. I came out 20, no, actually 21. So this year, I promised myself that I was gonna come back and finish it, and I did. Oh, it was awesome. It was really tough. The wind was really strong in some areas, but it was worth it. These guys put on a heck of a race, they really do. Anytime you get the military involved, this race, I, I liken this to the Marine Corps. This is gonna get as big as the Marine Corps, I think. Uh, it's a beautiful course, the support staff is amazing. Anytime you get the military involved in something like this, um, man, it's precision, it's precision. And, and despite the horrendous change in, in conditions, these guys pulled it off. It was, uh, it was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much.